Hi, I'm Teacher Molly, and I'm going to be reading another, this time it's a story, not a poem, from the Oxford English for Cambridge Primary book. Um, my students read this today. It's a traditional tale, and we really enjoyed it, so I wanted to share it again with them. How Bear Lost His Tail. It's a tale from North America, a tale as in a story, T-A-L-E, not T-A-I-L, and it's retold by Sarah Snashel. In the first days, when the world was new. Fox and Bear were the best of friends. Bear had the longest, fluffiest tail you could imagine. He would swish it this way and that, and all the animals loved Bear and his tail. The animals spent their days playing together. The forest was warm and there was lots of food to eat. But then, the first winter came, and with it came the first trouble. Snow covered everything. There was frost on the berries and ice covered the lake and fox and bear couldn't find anything to eat. Soon they were very hungry and very cross and so they began to argue. The animals became jealous of bear's tail and fox was the most jealous. Fox decided to play a trick on bear. One day he was walking by the lake when he saw otter come out of a hole in the ice. A hole in the ice. How clever, thought Fox. So this is Otter, not Bear. Otter is swimming in the river. Then he saw that Otter had a fish in his mouth. Very clever, thought Fox. Otter smiled to see his friend and put his fish down. But Fox grabbed the fish in his sharp teeth and ran off with it. Never had a fish tasted so good. He had nearly finished it when who should come along but Bear. Hello, Bear, said Fox. You've just missed lunch. How did you catch a fish? said Bear. It was easy. I'll show you, said Fox, with his nicest smile. I made a hole in the ice and put my tail in. The fish nibbled on my tail, and I pulled out my tail, fish and all. Your tail is so long, you'll catch even more fish than I did. Fox made a hole in the ice and helped Bear to put his tail into the freezing water. Now stay there and don't move a hair. I'll hide behind this tree and tell you when your tail is covered in fish. And then we'll have a feast, said Fox. But he didn't hide behind the tree. He went back home and laughed and laughed. Bear sat as still as he could, dreaming of the fish he was going to catch. Soon his tail started to tingle, but he waited for Fox to call him. His tail tingled more, and Bear imagined it covered in juicy fish. At last, Bear could stand it no longer, and he leapt up. But oh, his tail had frozen in the water and snapped off completely. Bear looked at his tail in horror. Oh, Fox, he cried. He looked behind the tree. When he saw that Fox was not there, he knew that it had been a trick. He roared with anger and ran off to find Fox, but he was nowhere to be seen. Since that day, Bear has trusted no one. He keeps to himself, grumpy and sad. The end. And there's Boone. Boone's reminding you to like and subscribe and watch more of my stories. Thanks for watching. Bye.